Welcome and good day to our lecturer, Dr. Azita, and to all my fellow friends. Now, I will be discussing on the TID effects on MKA, FKI1, satellite, and suitable steps to mitigate the TID effects. At the low Earth orbit or LEO, there are trapped charged particles which are harmful radiation, such as protons and electrons to living things and electronics in spacecrafts and satellites. Trapped proton flux does not pose any risks to satellites. However, trapped electron flux may cause electronics to malfunction if exposed for a long period of time and in high doses. The region right here and here, which is between South America and South Africa, is where the high concentration of trapped proton and electron flux exists, which is called the South Atlantic Anomaly or SAA. The SAA is caused by a weak magnetic field surrounding the area which causes more of the harmful space radiation to drop to a lower altitude. Similar to the North and the South Pole, the amount of trapped electron flux is much more evident at lower altitudes in this region as well. Spend this simulation software to run the orbits three times for each satellite as we can see that in this region, which matches the diagram in the previous slide, shows the amount of trapped electron flux the satellite is, satellite is exposed with. The satellite is exposed with higher doses of electron flux when traveling at the North and the South Pole while orbiting over the SAA. Satellite observes moderate amounts of electron flux when passing through the S South America and higher amounts of electron flux when orbiting over, over the South Africa, which then continues when orbiting over the South Pole. In order to protect the electronics within the satellite, we have run Spanvis simulation to use aluminium slab to shield the satellite by calculating the amount of trapped electrons observed with varying aluminium thickness. It is obvious that as the aluminium thickness increases, the lesser the amount of trapped electrons are observed, as shown here. However, an optimum aluminium thickness has to be chosen to prevent unnecessary weight to the satellite which could incur increased cost when fabricating and sending such satellite into space. Hence, this green line right here, as well as this green box over here, suggests a conservative amount of shielding required which should be adequate to protect the electronics from the total ionizing dose effects or TID for the lifetime of the satellite mission. Now I will pass this presentation to my colleague. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Amiratul Huda binti Ahmad Puat. Now, we will discuss about the TID effects on Global Star M070 satellite and the step to mitigate the TID effects. Here is the trapped proton flux and trapped electron flux for Global Star M070 satellite. As you can see, the altitude has been chosen for Global Star M070 satellite is 1,417 kilometers. The trapped proton and electron is main effect in the major region. As you can see, here is the world map of three orbital path of Global Star M070 satellite. The colored region is indicate the amount of electron flux is exposed to the Global Star M070 satellite. In this region, match to the previous diagram for trap of electron flux, the satellite is exposed with the higher dose of electron flux when traveling at the south hole. In this project, we choose aluminium is the target material to see the thickness of aluminium shielding against trap electron and proton for Global Star M070 satellite. Based on the figure shows, we can conclude that when the trap electron is decreased, the aluminium shielding is increased. When the aluminium absorber thickness is 14 mm, 
here. The dose effect was complete stop for the Global Star M070 satellite. The dose value for this satellite may differ with the different orbital data from the different type of satellite. The red color line here is indicate the optimum shielding required for this satellite. The red box here shows the value of ionizing dose effect when reach the optimum level of thickness. Thank you. Let's move to the next part. Good day to our lecturer, Dr. Azita. My name is Ainal. I will be present the ID effect on Razak site. Trapped charge particle in low Earth orbit. The region here, which are located around Brazil, where the high concentrated electron and proton flux produce. As we know, proton doesn't as harmful as electron. This, in this region, in trapped electron flux, contain harmful radiation. The ID effects and steps to mitigate. We use aluminium slab as a shield to satellite. Depending to amount of trapped electrons, we can observe the suitable thickness of aluminium shield. As we can see here, the lower the amount trapped electron, the thicker the shield. Satellite need to be weightless, so suitable thickness of aluminium must be chosen wisely. In the orange highlighted box is the optimum choice to protect satellite from the harmful radiation. Thank you.